for my friends. And uh, I'm from Italy and this is Erin. She's um, my dog that I brought when I moved here to Ireland. So I decided when I, I wanted to go with her everywhere. So when I uh, applied for the job and I got the job in Ireland, I didn't even had I didn't have second thoughts about taking her with me because I adopted her. She's my responsibility. So I decided to uh, do whatever it takes to organize and manage my um, moving abroad with her. I organized the whole trip online. I did it on myself uh, during my free time and yes it was really time taking. I, um, I was looking, I was working at the time so I, I had obviously to finish to finish well, the period where I was working and in the evening I was checking online the flights for me, for her, for um, I was checking the roads, the ferries, and at the end I've decided to come here driving through France and I booked the ferry from France to Ireland. And it was time taken because obviously uh, uh, you need to organize every single thing, you need to, to book. The, um, as I said, the transport to check how to get here, the hotels on the road, uh, and obviously I had to find an accom accommodation here. And um, my time was all into my research, and she wasn't getting so much attention, and she was actually nervous. So, be, whoever needs to do this needs to be careful and dedicate sometimes to her as well, or did as I did. I went to my uh, training her teacher and I left her there some hours so she could play with other dogs and get rid of some energy because she really needed it. Um, well there is a pet travel scheme that you can check on, uh, on online and there is a link. I can provide you the link as well and um, yeah she is over, uh, she doesn't. The quarantine is not required anymore until uh, since the e, him, you know the EU decided that it was ne it wasn't necessary. Um, but she had to have some paperwork, obviously um, regulated. So she has. She needs to have the microchip. She needs to have a regular passport. Okay, and all the vaccine has to be you know uh, taken, especially the rabies. Uh, and the rabbit vaccine needs to, it, to come to Ireland and the UK or actually almost all the other countries have to be, has to be taken 21 days before the departure. If not, it's not legal for the dog to move around. To come to Ireland also they need to get some tablets for the worms. I'm sorry, I don't remember the technical uh, yeah, the technical name, but uh, in English, but yeah, five days, between five and three days before the departure, she, she, the, the dogs only need to get uh, those tablets and the, the vet needs to sign that she took it. It wasn't the first trip that we took together. She came with me to Scotland last year during the trip and she's a very good uh, companion for a travel companion. <laughs> She can, she will stay in the car with no problem and uh, so all the way driving here she was on the back seat with the harness and the seat belt that I recommend and she is, um, she was, she was completely fine and for, <laughs> so she was very, she was okay during the, the driving and I booked the kennel in the ferry which I can recommend for other people. Uh, because the, she can be outside in the docks of the ferry and for the ferry I asked the vet for a specific for, for something for the trip so she, he gave me some tablets uh, to help her not throw up so I, that, that was really useful because other dogs were throwing up all the time so she wasn't she took those those pills six hours before the departures and she was okay. okay. 
and yeah she um, she was in the beginning she was she was fine with the location she needed to understand she, she's really active she's not scared well this dog is not but you have to be careful because she doesn't she cannot be left alone dogs cannot be left alone too much in the beginning so I first was leaving her a couple of hours with my dresses with my shirts on her bed so that she knew that I was going back for her and then step by step I was staying out longer so people should consider obviously moving away a little bit earlier before starting working in order to make the dog or the animal understand that they are coming back at some point and so that they won't cry. Moving abroad with her was, uh, was, it was actually good for me because yeah, we are, you're away from home and um, maybe you don't know many persons when in the new city where you're going, you have a tough day and or week and you just go home and she's there with me and she makes me smile so yes she it was very good to have her with me at least some days were really bad and I was going back playing with her and I was feeling a lot better when you first decide to bring your dog you have to think first will I have the time to take care of that because it's it's great but obviously you are changing your habits and um, it's not like the ones that you were used at home so you have to promise yourself that you will have time to spend with the pet because it's really important that's the reason why you bring in her with me with you to spend time with the pet and uh, obviously you have to plan everything on time either for the ferry and especially for the flight companies because they need time to uh, organize the the transport of an animal and obviously never lose hope because even though finding a house here was a tragedy i made it so uh, there are people that are willing to obviously give the chance to uh, rent you a room or a house with an animal and so just you just have to try and try and try and try okay and um, be careful with all your your paperwork it has to be made on time and when you move around check the first pet around so you will you won't have, have problems um, basic stuff like don't feed the dog six hours before the departure because she will throw up. Brava! Kwasu! Su! Brava, Tata! <laughs> okay, brava. So guys, if you have any questions, any other detail that you want to clarify, we're here and just write in our blog and we will try to answer to all of your questions because I know there are many. I cannot think about them at the moment but I remember when I moved I had so many questions to ask and we're here and uh, see this is our experience and uh, I hope that many of you will uh, actually come and uh, be your lovely pet so don't just ask I'm here and I will find a way to answer you bye say bye Erin bye